Thank you. All right. Yeah. Just let me take one second. Yeah, let's take a picture first, please. Yeah, hold on. Eh? All right. Also, I need your signature, please. Okay. <coughs> All right, just anyway. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Cheers. 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 Hello everybody, what I've here is my James Wills Games, today we're doing a boxing video. Right, these unboxing videos, every time I do an unboxing video, the box is getting much, much larger than the one before, but this is gigantic. How, this is like the PlayStation 5, also came out the blue. Now this one I'm not paying monthly, but I paid this in one lump sum and this wouldn't have been possible without receiving a really kind bonus I got from work. <clears throat> so there's the letter, I won't read it to you because basically it's work related material, but basically yes, we got a bonus and it ended up about £400, which is absolutely superb. But anyway, where was my phone just to refresh your brain box upstairs of what I actually paid for it? And I paid £348.90 and, and I also paid an additional £10 for a specific time of delivery. And I've just gone on to Amazon, and it's actually now gone up to £415.86, so I actually bought it at the right time. So I've actually, yes, that's really worked to my advantage. But anyway, I'm I'm taking a gamble here, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am taking a bit of a gamble, because this is quite extreme in size, the one I had before, which is still there. Now being Morgan's Games, it's never gonna be simple, it never is in a Morgan's Games house. There's going to have to be some stuff being moved around once again. Okay, we'll get to the unboxing part very soon, but in the meantime, there's going to be a lot of to and fro for this part of the video. But basically, TV is going to replace other TVs. And this one's going to get replaced by the one which I'm currently using in the living room. Now, this one I've had for quite some time. It has been on the wall once, and I was quite difficult to do on my own. It's basically my Nan's old TV. It's an LCD Panasonic TX 26-inch LXD8. And it has been good, but it has got its flaws, and I'll show you. Now, I don't know how well it's going on the camera, probably not overly well at all, but basically there's a line that goes around the entire screen, and on that line, basically it's darker, so it's like a different shade. But yes, if you're watching a film, it doesn't ruin the experience of you watching the film, but I know it's there, but yes, up close, it's like a sore thumb. In fact, it's probably about the same thickness as my index finger, but yes, I know it's there. But yeah, there is that issue. So yeah, up close, you can see it perfectly now, but yes, it goes around the entire sides of the screen. Okay, the latest film we're watching is The Green Mile. Seen it many, many times, of course, it's a very long film. But anyway, if you're watching a film, yes, when you're sitting absolutely 100% in front of the film, you're going to have no issues or worries. But there's been a few times where I've been trying to watch a film while maybe editing, so I might be watching it at a slight angle. And if you're doing that, it's literally unwatchable. There's been a few times in the past where I've been trying to edit, and I might put a film on in the background. And of course, me sitting over there means I'm going to be seeing it at an angle. And that's when you get this effect, which pretty much makes it unwatchable. But yeah, if you're watching the film on this TV, you've got to be absolutely in front of it. Okay, it's been on the subject of this bad boy. This is my high sense, it's a 40 inch, and I bought it just after I moved in. It's been absolutely fantastic. The only issue you have with it, and sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't, is when I'm watching YouTube on it. Now, if I'm uploading a video, I always tend to watch it on this TV to make sure there's no mistakes in the video. Or if I'm watching other people's videos, again, 9 times out of 10, I watch it on this TV. But sometimes when I click the YouTube button, it will fire up immediately, and sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, it really does put up a bit of a fight. It can take up about two or three attempts to try and get it going. And sometimes the signal is absolutely horrendous. But of course, originally, my streaming setup was in here, and the router was over there, so it means it was plugged directly into the router, which of course would have solved the issue. But now the router's at the furthest point, it is a bit of an issue. But of course, this is Wi-Fi, and the new one's going to be Wi-Fi, and this can be plugged into the router once again in the other room. But it's brilliant, it really is good. And of course, Michael Jensen, it does have a habit of turning itself off after four hours. But of course, you can turn that off. Okay, so we need a starting point, but yet again, it's going to be a very tough day for me, a tough evening for me, a lot of moving around, but we need a starting point. We've officially begun. OK, 
Okay, that was the easy bit. Now what I'm going to also do in the future is once the TV's in here, I'm also going to put it on the wall to gain this space back, to use this additional shelf. And I'm going to use a different type of bracket than one I used the first time. But of course that TV is not as weighted as the one I just moved out. But it should be fine. We're getting there. Okay, phase two, move this one now, and then we're gonna get on to the big bad boy. I have to admit though, 55 inch is a bit of a gamble. I'm risking it for a biscuit here. This TV is fantastic. Amazing though, the amount of years I've had it, I've never actually taken off this outer shrink wrapping. It's always been there. But also, this TV does have an advantage over the new one because this one has a SCART cable, where I don't think that one does. But yes, when I was doing television shopping, when I first moved in, I wanted to have a TV of a decent size, which had a SCART cable. That's quite difficult to find. And I'm assuming new ones don't have them at all. Of course, there are ways around it by using converters and adapters, but yeah, that's gonna have to be the way with that one. Now this soundbar, which I got from Cully's PC World, is gonna stay here. That's been good as well. Take that off, that's for the Wii. It does amaze me how tangled these cables can get. Right, we should be good to go. It's going to take some getting used to, but yeah, it does fit in there quite nicely. But of course, I think over the course of time, we'll benefit a lot more being on the wall. But I will do that in the future. But of course, now I've lost all this space altogether. But being on the wall, I gain it back. But now I've got nowhere to put the DVD player. Yeah, that's going to take some getting used to. That really is. But look at this. It's like being burgled, isn't it? But yes, the soundbar is going to stay there. But this is a gamble, a major gamble, because yes, it is going to overlap on both sides. And one person did say at work, why don't you put it on the wall? He hasn't seen my house. I can't put it on the wall, no space for the wall. But yes, what is going to be risky is the legs. I'm hoping the legs are not going to be hanging off the edge. Okay, half past six. I have to admit now, I'm starting to feel peckish. But anyway, we'll put that on the floor for now. Right, so now we are ready for the main event. Yes. Right, we need, we need more space. More space. Uh. Okay. okay, here we go. A Hisense Smart TV powered by VIDAA. UHD TV 4K, Dolby Vision HDR, Vida Voice, Game Mode and One Touch Access. I have to admit, I've never heard of VIDAA. What is VIDAA? According to Hisense, VIDAA is an advanced smart TV operating system. It supports a more natural way for people to interact with their large screens, focusing on content and services rather than applications and technology. It's all new to me. It's all new to me. So is 4K, that's also very new to me. Made in China, are you surprised? Everything's made in China, isn't it? So there we go, a quick question to the viewers. What size TV do you currently have and what one did you start off with? Mine was either a 16 inch or an 18 inch. And I got on Christmas Day morning, it's quite an unusual story really, because what happened was, while I was asleep, my mum and stepdad put the TV on the floor next to my bed. Now, my bed had a little ladder that got up to it. So I woke up Christmas Day morning, went down my little ladder, didn't even see the box. It was, I walked straight past it, went downstairs, had breakfast, and mum said to me, did you like your box? Did you like your presents? And I was like, what presents? Mum said, the one next to your bed. I went back upstairs, this box was gigantic. How I missed it, I don't know. But yeah, I missed it. Of course, I opened it, and I was delighted. Yes. And of course, the old school TV did not have a remote control. Right, that's quite a long cut.
Hi. Um, take that off. Okay. Don't fall over. How does that happen? Right, time out, time out. Right, so we've got to put the legs on. Where are they? Here. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for broke here. I'm just gonna risk it. I've risked it more than enough times in the past. I'm just gonna assume that it will fit. So, we've got to turn it upside down. But yes, 55 inch is probably the maximum I can go. I can't go any more than that, because it will not fit. I mean, 55, there is a chance it won't fit. I'm hoping it will. Right, so there should be bolts in this bag. Right, so hopefully somewhere in this bag is the bolts I require. Yes, I do now. There we go. No screwdriver. Right, so I need a flip screwdriver. Okay. I really hope this fits. I'm going to be devastated if it doesn't. But there are ways around it. There is a backup plan if it doesn't go the way I planned. And that plan is to buy a piece of wood which I'm going to bolt down to the TV cabinet to extend it, basically. Final bolt. Please fit. Please fit. Right, everybody, place your bets. Is it or isn't it going to fit on this TV cabinet? We'll find out together. See, the biggest unanswered question in Blood Money is where's the money? The biggest unanswered question here is it going to fit on this TV cabinet? Justin wants to go out of all the times. I can't open the door to come to the sink. It was packaging. Okay, ready? Uh. <laughs> Only just. I knew it was going to be close. You can't get much closer than that. That's insane. That is literally right on the edge on both sides. Look at that there. Right on the edge. That's literally on the corner. And there as well. Do you know what? In Vlog 16, I bought myself a new green screen. One that basically was a blind. And I bought it, and the measurements on Amazon did not match the physical versions. Of course, it didn't fit. So I had to send it back, and I had a feeling it was going to be the same case here as well. But that's brilliant. I'm so pleased with that. Look at that. And that fits perfectly like a glove. Oh, fantastic. Yes, it's obstructing some of my hammer beads, it's obstructing some of my collections. But I haven't got to move them. That's the most important thing. That's brilliant. I'm so pleased, but I'm worn out. So, yeah. There you go, I can't wait to play R-Type on this thing. Yeah, this is takes to get used to as well. But yeah, I knew it was gonna be close, I didn't know it was gonna be that close, but yeah, 55 is, that's the limit. I can't go any bigger than that. I wasn't planning to take this off, but it's actually going over quite a lot of the screen here. And also it's got cat fur on it already. Yeah, unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about that. That was always going to happen. Now this TV is not only going to be played with PlayStation 5 and Xbox, that sort of malarkey. I am going to play Amiga on here. I am going to play CG4 on here. Mars System. You name it, it's going to be played on here. See, this is all new to me. I thought this was like 
not a good idea, but I didn't actually realise this entire screen has it's got one great big massive screen protector on it, which of course you can take off. I did wonder because there was air bubbles there and there. I thought that's not a good start. A quick question to the viewers, those of you who do have a 4K TV, you've got a screen protector on here, like a phone. Have you taken it off or have you left it on? I mean I would Personally, I would like to take it off, but you've got air bubbles on there. So there we go, not the greatest comparison test, it's the best I can do. But quite some difference as you can see, but yeah, I'm absolutely relieved that that fits on that TV cabinet. I'm absolutely exhausted, I really am, but I've got to look at the back of it. But yes, of course, you can plug it in, that's your PowerPoint. We've got the red, white and yellow, we've got auxiliary out. And you've got the service, not sure what that one is. But anyway, no SCART cable. I'd be very surprised if it had one. But yeah, you've got two USBs. You've got the common interface, card face front. Uh, three HDMIs. And we've got the Ant 1, the Ant 2, the DVB, digital audio out, and the LAN, which is basically your router. Also, one thing that's very important, Jamie, is does it work? Does it fit? But it's got to work. Plug it in and see if it fires up. I sense. Wow, it's got music. Right, Jasper. Rules. Do not go behind this TV. Okay? Don't ask them, I'm asking you. Don't go behind there, will you? You're not going to go behind there, are you? <laughs> I'm concerned. He'll be alright. Okay, day two, I threw in the tower, day one. However, before I got some sleep, I managed to edit the video up to this point. But we're going to play some games today. But anyway, remote. And we have a manual and two batteries. Fantastic. There we go. Now my old TV remote does actually have buttons on here I've never actually pressed. But yes, YouTube of course has got used a lot. But yes, the Netflix button, I've never pressed that because I've never ever used Netflix before. And Wuraku TV, never tried it. And also the text button, also has never been pressed. But the new one has got more digital buttons. So we've got the free button, the sports button, the Deezer button, Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Rakuten TV, Freeview Play and the media button. Whether I use them is another matter. But anyway, we'll put the batteries in. Okay, so this bad boy can do. I've plugged in the soundbar and I've also plugged in the router. It's plugged in. That might help, Jamie. Yes, we have power. There we go. The problem I've got at the moment of time is I don't have a decent chair apart from my sofa. But also, my gaming chair won't fit through the door. And I have got this very uncomfortable chair which I got from B&M for 15 quid, but it breaks my back. But anyway, select your language. English. Okay, I've got to create another account. I've got a password to remember. Right, your account has successfully been created. Right, name your TV. What should we call it? The living room, the bedroom, the guest room, the games room, or others. Right, enter your location to quickly find your service providers and set up your TV. Right, select your voice assistant. Right, we recommend Netflix for you. Entertainment such as films and TV dramas you can enjoy at any time. Do you want to experience Netflix now? No. Never use Netflix ever. Well, as much as I've said in the past on live streams, I'm not a fan of TV. You are now watching me watch TV, and we're going to upgrade. However, the soundbar is not working. There's nothing coming out of the soundbar. I'm guessing you've got to install that. Uh, it's plugged in. I'm not that silly. But yeah, it's definitely plugged in. See, now I'm scratching my head over what to do about my hammer bees. I mean, yes, they are still fantastic to look at. 
but now I can't see as many as before. So now I'm sort of thinking, would it benefit more putting them on that wall? And I have been there before, I've moved them there a few times. So I'm sort of thinking now, do I need to do it again? So another possible job for the future. So there we go, I spent £350 on a new TV, and the first thing I do on it is watch people cook. However, these people probably cook a lot better than me. I'm not a bad cook, but the trouble is when I'm cooking and editing at the same time, I tend to forget about it. But there we go. Bongo TV, laughs out loud, cooking panda, Smurf TV, flashback 70s, hit list, greatest hits, the grid, trailers from hell, poker, tour, uh, the unexplained, weather spy, ninja kids TV, foul TV, comedy movies, Sports Grid, Brat TV, um, Water Bear. So yes, I've been a bit of an income poop here. Yes, Jamie, you're not going to find BBC One, BBC Two. This is something new. This is a completely utterly different service. If you want to get BBC One, BBC Two, you've got to use your box that's behind the TV. This is something different, which is why I've never heard of after these channels. Okay, I figured out how to get the soundbar working, but there's a few things I'm not sure on. But anyway, we go to settings. We go to sound settings, we go to speakers, we go to audio output, and we change it to SPDIF only. And what it does is it sends all the sound directly to the soundbar. But unfortunately, there's no sound coming up with the TV now. I don't know if it's going to work with headphones. Right, that's working now. But unfortunately, that also stops the soundbar altogether. It's not overly loud, though. That's 65. Okay, we're going to fire up the PlayStation 5 now. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Now, is that going to automatically switch? Probably not. So we go to input. PlayStation 5. Right. Okay, baby. It's going to be very difficult to record, though. But the more I play this PlayStation 5, the more I'm impressed with what it can do. Now, I haven't pressed any buttons. Basically, it's automatically detected that there's a change. So, you've got to trust the display area, and that is automatic. So, that's amazing. Right, BDR. Um, on when supported. The resolution is set to 1080p because the connection HDMI device doesn't support. Right, this is interesting because here it says the resolution is set to 1080p because the connected HDMI device doesn't support 2160p. So I guess I've got to buy another cable. Now if I go on Amazon, yes I can get it, but it's not going to arrive until tomorrow. So I'm quite tempted to go to Curry's PC World. It should be open, it's Sunday. Call past two. Quite expensive too. <sighs> okay, off we go again. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but of course you can't just plug in a standard HDMI cable for 4K quality. But yeah, quite pricey. Two meters, but it's a gold 8K series. I hope it'll work. So there we go, what's quite expensive I have to admit, it's a Sandstrom, a gold 8K series, 2 meters in length, 8K Ultra HD, dynamic HDR, secure fit, 4 layers of shielding and a 48 GPPS. 
and it's for 4K and 8K, 2K and 1080p televisions as specified in HDMI 2.1. But yeah, the thing is, I've spent £479 on the PlayStation 5 and £350 on the TV, and you want to buy a £5 cable from Amazon. Plus, I wanted it today anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, so I bought it from Amazon, it arrived tomorrow. But if I bought this one today, it arrived today. I can't get into the box. There you go, superb. Now, ages ago, I actually went to the same shop, and bear in mind, HDMI is fairly new to the scene. I didn't know a lot about it. I spoke to a member of staff there, said, look, I just bought one of these. What cable do I need? And he pointed this one out. It was like 50 quid at the time, and me being me, I bought it, unboxed it, and then later that day, I think I went to Tesco's, and I saw one in there for 15 quid. So what I did was, I packed it away. Bear in mind, the box was torn. They still accepted it. I was quite worried, actually, they wasn't going to accept it. But there we go, it just goes to show. Spare me a little bit, look around and try and get the cheapest option. But there we go, I'm fairly happy with that. Yes, it was expensive, but it's for a good reason. Right, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Right. There you go, HDMI 2 signal received. Let's do this again, shall we? My lord, need my sunglasses for this one. Adjust your HDR. Adjust your PlayStation 5's HDR high dynamic range. Right, adjust, right. So press the up and down buttons to adjust the brightness till the symbol is barely visible. Right, there, done. Right, adjust the setting so the symbol is barely visible. So we've got to go darker. Right, let's fire up a game, shall we? Just happened to have R Type Final 3 evolved in there. There we go, R Type Final 3. My lord, R Type has certainly evolved, isn't it? See what I did there? Now it's going to be played on the largest screen I've ever played it on. Um, right, there we go. It's just. Uh, it looks spectacular, but let's have, just, let's have one quick go. Uh, Okay, let's give it a whirl. Unfortunately, I cannot record it the way I normally would do, but this is r like Final 3 Evolve on a 4K 55 inch screen. And it looks absolutely tremendous. I love it. But now there's so much to look out for on a much larger scale. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't really record it the way it deserves to be recorded, really.
there we go. It's not the way I want to record it. Must be the best way I can record it. But there we go. Superb. That is level four. Normal difficulty. One death. That is difficult. But of course, it looks superb. It really does look good. This is actually the thickest manual I've ever had for a TV before. Uh, but yeah, this V-I-D-A-A, -A, how does that work? Surely got to say something to get it to activate. What I have to say? I don't think Boom Boom Power is going to work this time. Um... Hi there, how can I help? I'm trying to figure out how you talk to my TV. I'm going to have to ask my phone how I talk to my TV. So... We need to get my YouTube working, so, uh, there you go. I know this channel, I'm sure I do. Confirm. Welcome, Morgan's Games, getting your profile ready. Cool, kudios. Now what? Okay, I figured it out, there's actually a microphone button, you press and hold that down. Search Morgan Just Games. Sort of. It's come up with Piers Morgan as well. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, time to put Piers in touch with this video now. It's actually a week later. It's actually currently the 6th of August 2023. So, for the last week or so, of course, I've been on the early shift. I did a stream on Friday, but I have been playing quite a few games on the PlayStation 5 using my brand new TV. And of course, I would love to have included a little more footage because it's very difficult to record it. But anyway, I have watched one DVD as well. Of course, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of collections. And I'm always going to keep buying DVDs until DVDs are no longer available. But I suppose it does make sense now to start buying, even though I have bought a few so far, Blu-rays and maybe even 4Ks. But it's the money, isn't it? But anyway, quite recently I did buy my very first PlayStation 4 game for my PlayStation 5, which is g Davis HD. I was playing that last night. It's superb. GJRS HD is based on the first game which I got as a physical version, bought it on the PlayStation 1 during my year at college, it's fantastic. Also, I've been playing the second playthrough of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, and also I did have one online multiplayer game with Elgenstein and Mark Gordon on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Extremes Revenge, which is why I've been watching quite a lot of the films recently. But yes, playing DVDs on a 4K, it doesn't need the greatest of quality, but it's okay. Okay, for the ending of this video, I want to try and see how retro performs on the 4K. Now, my original idea was to use my Mega 1200, which is currently in the other room. I did a stream on that on Friday. I'll link that in the description below if you want to check that out. But unfortunately, I've got a few issues with that. I've got to try and resolve. In fact, the item I'm waiting for was actually attempted to be delivered yesterday, which is interesting because I was here, but I was asleep quite a lot of the day yesterday. I was knackered. So I can only assume I tried to live in it while I was asleep. So I'm going to leave that for a few more days to try and get that sorted. So what we'll do is we'll plug in the A500 Mini and see how it performs. And of course, being HDMI, it's gonna look a bit more sharp on the 4K. So yes, I was hoping to have a lot more games featured in this video, but unfortunately it's very difficult to record a screen and it will caption it on a PC. Trouble is, PC's in there. TV's in here. So there we go, fire with me, Elite, no hesitations. It also looks nice and sharp. But yes, I was hoping to use the original 1200, but no, no dice, not this time. I bought myself a new pair of headphones, I've lost them already. There you go, quite recently I bought myself a new pair of headphones. I've got two of these now. The reason why I bought another one is because that way I'm not moving headphones from room to room. So the ones in there can stay in there, and these can stay in here. See, my old TV, the headphone jack was on the edge of the screen, now it's in the middle. So not the easiest one to get to. Right, let's sort these cables out. I've got so many tangles going on here. All right, that goes through there. Okay, this is going... There's so many games I want to see on a 4K. Of course, 4K is a bit too extreme for the Mega. But what do you pick? What I might try, actually, is Toki, because Toki is known to be on a very small screen. 
Not anymore. It's gonna be extended. Another reason why this video has been very difficult to record, not only recording the screen is difficult, but also trying to catch the sound. It's not possible. So yes, our type final three, you have to use the sound bar, which is why it didn't sound overly good. Okay, Toki, fantastic game. The first game I finished on the Mega, but even though this is actually a very small screen, it's quite a small screen here too. But yes, also trying to capture the sound is also a very difficult task for this video. But there we go, Toki, it looks absolutely amazing, but surprisingly, it's still quite a small screen, even though I am actually quite close up to it right now. But can we make this any larger? Of course, I want to stretch it too much, but I want to keep it as original as possible, even though I'm actually playing on a 4K. Which is too extreme. Should be a CRT, really. Right, don't take too long, Jamie. This game is a time limit. Uh, so let's see what we've got. We've got game mode. So we've got the auto on or off. Um, Optimise the game settings. I think that helps towards latency issues. Right. But yeah, the sim is screen larger. And it also got the audio only setting. I don't really see the point, really. There's no image, just the sound. However, the sound is the issue I've got for this one. Uh, picture. So yes, yeah, so at the moment of time, the aspect ratio is auto. So we've got 16 by 9, which does help it a little bit. 4.3 is going to be even smaller. 21 by 9 is okay. Movie zoom. Probably the best I can do, really. We've also got dot to dot, which is absolutely tiny. Look at that. Uh, we'll go for movie zoom. Right. 1 minute 55 is all we've got remaining. Well, there we go, it looks amazing. Any children watching this video, listen to your parents. Don't sit this close to your TV screen. Not good for your eyes. Not good for mine either. But also, I am using a control pad, even though I'm not a fan of them. And when I did my A Phone of Mini review video, I did praise this controller. I praise it a lot. But I'm realising that it is actually still not a particularly good controller. I still would rather use a joystick any day of the week, but here I can't do it. But also, I can't capture the sound effects, only capture the music. But anyway, boss battle, but also my legs are absolutely killing me. Right, boss battle, not the greatest of starts though. Right, it's going to end the wild on this one. Bingo, superb. Looks great! Of course, it's not the way you should play it, but the screen is normally very small. My eyes are killing me, that and my feet. Um, right, okay. Can you tell what it is yet? Yes, of course you can. My second favourite game of all time. Playing it for the first time on a 4K, and my legs are not okay. They are really, really in a lot of pain here. There we go. Amazing game. Absolutely superb. I love it. I know what you're thinking. Sit down on the chair. If I could, I would. The trouble is, there's not a lot of options. Sitting on a chair right out there, it's just as painful as sitting on the floor. But there we go, that's absolutely tip top. My lord, am I making a sacrifice or what? I'm using the most uncomfortable chair and also I'm using this absolutely horrendous joystick that snaps very easily. But I want to play this game. Of course it sounds amazing on my headphones. Okay, so the game is Shadow of the Beast, my second favourite game of all time. Playing for the absolute first time on a 4K television, of course it's not the way you should do it. But it looks alright, I have to admit it looks okay and it sounds amazing. But of course, the PlayStation 5 has the ability to play PlayStation 4 games. Of course, I knew about the remake. I've seen it on the internet, but I've never played it before. Wasn't overly impressed with it. Yes, it looks to be his knees, but of course, it's not the way Shadow Beast should look and play. But now, if I wish to do so, I could buy it and give it a whirl. Of course, it does have the original game on there as well, but it looks, it looks all right. It looks pretty good. Maybe in the future, I might throw in the towel and give the remake a try. Maybe. So far, so good. Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely adore this game. I always have done, I always will do. I know a lot of people are not a fan of it. But take nothing away from what they've done, the way it looks, the way it performs, the way it sounds. It's absolutely astounding. A lot of memories of this game. Finish it many, many times through your live stream. Pick up the key, you're gonna need quite a few of those. My eyes are killing me, they really are. Oh. Right. Won't do much more, just the boss, and we'll move on. Took one hit though, no mind. 
so good. Play so well. Lemon lights, one key, and a partridge in a pear tree. And we are actually in a tree right now. A big massive tree. Right, bingo, now we fire fireballs. Oh, it's hurting. Well, I only just. Well, you can't use the top left button. It does that. It doesn't actually fire. So I've got to use the top right button, it's very uncomfortable. But being our time, I'm willing to take the sacrifice. There we go, a bit of Jimmy White's World Big Snooker, another fantasy game which was absolutely tip top on this TV. But anyway, I do apologise about some of the footage, it's been quite difficult to record. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video though. This is Jay for all this games. Please like and comment. You can find me on most platforms. So I'm in more games. Find fairly easy. We'll do the videos like this. Do long plays like cheese. Have it been making it and live streams on Friday night. You can find me at 8 o'clock. It's out of our way. It's a little dizzy. Ciao, bye. See ya.